Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is a day that I've really been waiting for and I can't wait to show this to you. You're about to witness how a new type of ETF that just hit the market is becoming a dividend gold mine. And you're gonna leave this video with a much better understanding of how it works and how you can use it to boost your own dividend income. But before we dive into the numbers and strategies, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So let's not waste any more time. It's time to reveal the secret behind my biggest dividend payment yet. Okay, so how much was my dividend payment? On August 14th of 2023, I received a total of $830.30 in my Fidelity account. This was a dividend payment from the symbol TSLY, Tesla, which is the Yield Max Tesla Option Income Strategy ETF. I'm going to get more into the ETF and how it works in a minute, but first let me tell you how many shares I own and how much they cost me. Right, so I got 830 bucks and I own a thousand shares. So they paid out 83 cents a share. So how much did these thousand shares of Tesla cost me? On July 7th, I bought three shares for $17.31 each. And then on July 10th, I bought 997 more shares for $16.95 each after the price dropped. So my all-in total for a thousand shares was $16,951.08. So if you think about it, that's how much I had to invest to get this $830 dividend payment and Tesla pays dividends every month. So we can really easily calculate our monthly return in percentage, 4.9%. That is the monthly return that I received in dividend payments. And if you annualize that return, assuming that Tesla keeps paying out this same dividend payment around 83 cents, you get about 60% if the dividends stay the same. But the thing is, the dividends do not stay the same. So that 60% is pretty much meaningless. And Tesla has also recently announced their next dividend payment. So I already know exactly what I'm gonna be receiving for the month of September, and it's not quite 83 cents a share. So I won't be getting the full $830 again, but the next payment is 58 cents per share, which means I'll be receiving around $580 for the month of December. So down about $250, but my monthly return is still about three and a half percent. So still a really high monthly return. And Tesla is just gonna keep paying dividends every month and they're gonna keep fluctuating probably right around in this range. So why do the Tesla dividend payments fluctuate so much? Well, they're based on the amount of income that the fund receives. All that income gets paid out as dividend payments. So how does Tesla create income? Well, Tesla is a fund by Yieldmax that trades Tesla options. They only do that. They don't own any Tesla stock. They just trade Tesla stock options. If you want to learn a little bit more about Tesla, you can go to the Yieldmax website. You can see that they currently have net assets of about $666 million. And the price is around $14.66. So it's down, gone down quite a bit since I bought it. The gross expense ratio for this ETF is 0.99%. So just under 1%. And the funds in seven date was November 22nd of 2022. So it's a pretty new fund, but it pays insanely high dividends, which is why a lot of people like it. We can also look at the distribution history. So that 58 cent di dividend that I was talking about for September, the 83 cent dividend that I already received for August. I didn't receive the July dividend because I hadn't bought in yet, but it was about $1.06. You can see the historical dividend payments were at a low of about 44 cents and a high of that $1.06 cent payment. So I'd say you could probably expect the dividend payments to kind of stay within that range. And if we look at the top 10 holdings, you could see that the majority of the fund is actually in US Treasury bonds and all the rest is going to be Tesla options. So they're buying call options, they are selling call options, and they're also selling put options. You just look at the holdings, they might not make that much sense to you. So I want to break it down a little bit further on what they're doing. They're doing what's called a synthetic covered call strategy. The synthetic covered call strategy is an options trading strategy that replicates the payoff profile of a traditional covered call position. They use a combination of options contracts to do this. So in a traditional covered call strategy, you buy shares of the stock for every hundred shares that you own, you sell an out of the money call option to generate income. And it's a very popular options trading strategy. So the synthetic covered call strategy is used because they have lower capital requirements so you get greater returns and you don't actually have to own the stock itself. You own options contracts that mimic owning the stock. Yieldmax tweeted this out the other day and it's a pretty good explanation of exactly what a synthetic covered call is and how they execute it. It requires three options trades to be executed at the same time. So you buy a long call option on the stock that you're interested in. In this case, it's Tesla. Um, Yieldmax typically buys long calls that expire in one to two months. Then simultaneously, you sell a short 
put option on the same stock, Tesla again in this case, ideally at the same strike price for the long call position that you already have. Same strike price and same expiration date. And those two options together mimic your long stock position and to generate income in the fund, then what they do is they sell an out of money call option, which is like your covered call. And out of the money means that it has a strike price higher than the current price of the stock. And those treasuries that we saw in the fund, right? All the holdings that they have in treasury bonds and cash, that's their collateral and additional income. So right now, treasuries are paying like four point seven, five, five percent. So they're generating income from those two. If you look into yield max a little bit more, it's really cool. They have a bunch of other funds that are doing this same strategy on. And it feels like they keep coming out with more almost every day. You have O-R-A-K, which trades ARK, the ARK Innovation Fund, A-R-K-K, Apply, A-P-L-Y, which trades Apple, NVIDI, which trades NVIDIA, AMZY, AMZ, that trades Amazon, FBY, which trades Facebook, Metastock, GOOY, which trades Google, NFLY, which trades Netflix, CONY, which hasn't even paid a dividend yet. It's so new. That one, that one trades Coin, Coinbase, MSFO, brand new as well. That one trades Microsoft, DSIO, trades Disney, brand new as well. XOMO, trades ExxonMobil, brand new as well. So you can see if you look at the distribution rates on a lot of these uh, funds that are currently paying dividends, Dividends, they're pretty high because this synthetic cover call strategy generates a lot of income. And essentially, you're paying a hedge fund, yield max in this case, to trade for you, and you're paying the 1%. You could easily do this yourself if you have the capital. Just execute the exact same trades that yield max is. You can look at their live trades every day, but you're paying for the expertise, and that costs you that 1%. So there you have it. That's the story of my biggest dividend payment to date. I hope you found this video as useful as I did. We covered a lot on Tesla, the ETF with an impressive dividend yield that initially initially lured me into these yield max funds, the number of shares I currently own and how much they actually cost me. And I also want to hear from you guys. Are you also invested in yield max funds and what's your favorite one? Share your stories in the comments below. I'll try to respond to everyone. As always, I'm extremely grateful for your support. So if you found value in this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with any other dividend investors that you might know. And one last thing before we go, I have to emphasize that this video is for educational and informational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor and this video does not constitute financial advice. Investing in any financial asset carries risk and your financial decisions should be made on your personal investing situation. And with that, it's time to wrap up this video. Thank you all for joining me today. Until next time, let's keep buying dividend stocks.